morning, good morning everybody. Welcome into my channel. You are watching the Trucker Rudy Show. I hope you uh, have joined me today. And uh, we'll see what we got uh, going on today. But uh, we uh, just came back from the... Uh, shop and uh, had a look at see how things are going over there and uh, they haven't gone very far yet but they're fixing to take out the uh, transmission right now they already did some other stuff they already replaced uh, the lines from the uh, power steering pump there was two lines there that, that were one that's going to the actual pump and the other one was going to the uh, can where the oil is and they were both leaking so I got them to replace that and then there was also one fuel line that uh, goes from the fuel pump to the fuel filter that was rubbing against one hose and it was starting to get really thin so I told them to replace that as well they did that replaced the uh, uh, bunk uh, yeah the bunk uh, airbag leveling valve got that all replaced and all that stuff but Anyways, let's get to the main point of today. I will have a very special guest on today's show. His name is Jerry. He goes by Trucker Jerry on YouTube. And I will be uh, having him on his show today. On, uh, we'll see what he's got all in store for us. So we'll do a sort of like a interview on him and talk about stuff and what he's up to and where he's been and all that stuff so if you guys want to uh, check out his channel just go on youtube and type in trucker jerry and you'll find him there so uh let's get to it well guys we got uh who, who do we got here who, who's this guy that we got on the other end here why hey. don't you introduce yourself My name is uh, Jerry. I go by uh, Big Jerry on my YouTube channel. All right, all right. So, what have you been up to these days lately? You, uh, I heard you're uh, you're fixing computers, or what? What do you do lately? Yeah, I do that. Uh, I do that on my spare time. Uh, since I'm waiting, uh, I was driving, and then uh, I got this uh, eye situation. I have to have surgery, so. I'm just sitting, I've been trying to find things to do to keep me occupied until after my eye surgery. Okay, so do you uh, plan on going back into the trucking industry once you're, uh, once you got your eye taken care of, or what's your, what's your future look like right now? Oh yeah, I'm going to, uh, as a matter of fact, the, the company that I was with when I left, they, they told me to, uh, yeah, as soon as I get everything taken care of, uh, they told me to get a hold of them and they're going to, uh, yeah, they're going to bring me back aboard. Okay, okay, wow. Well, I, I saw I saw this uh, video that you had up there, see, you got almost uh, no snow anymore, eh? Oh yeah, yeah, it's just really quick. Yeah, right after that snowstorm, the next day we had a uh, we had a big rain shower come through, so it just oh it just wow, <laughs> washed yeah, all the we, we had uh, we had ice rain yesterday. I was saying to my wife earlier. I said uh, it's actually a, a good thing that we decided on taking this week off uh, to get my truck fixed instead of next week. I was, at first I was planning on doing it next week, but then we decided on doing it this week, and then. Next week, my uh, my son is going to come along with me, and uh, he's going to ride along with me, and, and he's got spring break, you know, next week, so. Oh. Yeah. You know, I have a little uh, little passenger for a while, huh? Yeah, yeah, so I'll have a have a passenger with me. <laughs> has, he, has he ridden with you before then, or? Uh, yes, he has been with me uh, two times before. Yeah, yeah, he certainly has has been with me two times before. But yeah, my wife has been with me twice too. Uh, both both of those times, my wife was with me. And uh, but yeah, other than that, so you're uh, so you're getting your uh, computer business back up running, or how's that going? Yeah, I I, I have it advertised and. Uh... I, I just advertise it on like on Facebook and like my social media. Uh, I do have uh, 
I do have business cards made up, and when I go to different places, stores like Walmart or grocery shop, and I'll take a bunch of them and I'll stick them up on their wall. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. I, I I mainly get the business from people that I've actually worked on their computers. They they've told their friends about me, so that's how I usually get my business. Okay, all right. So. Uh... What does someone need to do if they uh, want to get a hold of you? Like, how do they get a hold of you, or, or like they just go and get get find you through the media section, then? Or yeah, um, yeah. Or also, if they watch my videos, uh, I, I I put my links in my videos. Uh, and uh, well, I, I did put up that one video where I put my email and my and my phone. Oh, okay. They can, they can reach me through that way too. So. No. Okay. All right. How's the, uh, uh, what's the best way to find you on uh, on YouTube? Do we type in Trucker Jerry or the Big Jerry Show, or what's the best way to find you on YouTube? If guys. Uh, the find uh, type in Trucker Jerry. Trucker Jerry. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that way I can let the. That way the people can find you, you know, if they see my video or whatever, that way they can go and check out your channel and see what you're up to, right? And I, I've actually had one, um, I've actually had one that called me from, uh, where were they from? I think they were, they were out of Michigan. And see, I have a program, but I always ask permission first. Um, this lady had a problem with her computer and I asked her, I'm like, well, do you mind if I access your, access your computer? And she says, well, how do you do that? And I says, well, I have a program that I can, no matter where you're at, I can, I can access your computer mm -hmm. and I can actually take my, take my mouse and, and move the arrow around on your screen. Yeah. And but if you do, if you're not careful, you can kind of get in trouble that way. That's why I always ask the the people. I always ask their permission first if I can access their computer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That's what you got to do. Yeah. Right. Because I, I know I know I've I've had uh, tech support uh, before too, and and that was the same way. Right. They use a use a program for that. And I actually do have that program too, but. Don't really yeah. use it that much, but <laughs> it saves time because a lot of people ask me questions, and sometimes it's hard for me to understand the way they word it. I mean, I and I tell them I actually physically have to get in there and see it for myself to see what's going on. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, you certainly know a lot about computers from what I've talked to you and stuff like that. So. Uh, what kind of program do you use uh, for video editing and stuff like that now? Uh, well, when I first started my videos, I just used the uh, I just used that one that comes with the Windows uh, operating system, that Windows Movie Maker. Oh, okay. Uh, that's uh, some of my older videos in the archives was their their videos were made with that. And then I started using the uh, Wondershare, and now I've reached uh, the last few of my videos. I've been using that uh, Vegas Pro 13. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a nice program. I use that program too. But and uh, I was I was going to ask you about your uh, your uh, military history a little bit. I know some people are are always very interested in military stories, right? <laughs> And and then so I wanted to get a little bit of a background of you from your military history. Like, how, so how long have you been in in the military and stuff like that? And can you tell us maybe a little story of your military career and and where you've been and what you've done and all that stuff? Uh, I went in and uh, matter of fact, I went I I, I enlisted. Uh, I was 17 years old. Uh, I had to get my parents' signature, you know, because I was under the age of 18. Uh, I went in in 1979, and I got out in uh, 1992. I did 13 and a half years. Okay. 
So where have you all been? Have you actually been in any kind of wars or? Yeah, I was in our here in the states uh, back in uh, uh, ninety and ninety one. We had the uh, when we were involved in there uh, the the first uh, Iraqi war. I was at. Oh, okay, the Gulf War. I think they called it. Yeah, the Gulf War. Yeah. Oh, okay, did you actually go over to Iraq, or you just uh, uh, just did some supporting and stuff like that? Oh no, I was actually no, I was actually over there. Uh, I got out because we got uh, uh, my unit. We got hit, and I got uh, right here on my side. I got hit with uh, shrapnel. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and so I that's uh, right after right after I got back from right after I got back from Iraq. That's when I got out. No. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. And before we started my end of the show here. You were saying you were also in Germany, right? Yeah, I spent uh, I spent uh, two two and a half years over there. I spent uh, I spent a year and a half in uh, Korea. Uh, I've been to uh, I did some training in Alaska. Uh, wow. I've been down in uh, uh, South America. I've been uh, I've done some uh, training in Panama, out there in the in the jungle. Uh, I've been to uh, Denmark, Greece, uh, Italy. <laughs> I've been all over the place. Wow. So what were you doing in Germany? Like what uh, what kind of stuff did you do in Germany? Like uh, I was a uh, um, when I was over there. That's when uh, when I first went in. I was uh, I went in as a mechanic, a diesel mechanic. Oh, okay. Yeah, working. I uh, every vehicle, whatever. I, I worked on everything, and uh, that's what I did when I was in Germany. Uh, I was a, a mechanic. So did you actually work on uh, uh, on like like these big uh, what, what do we call them again? <laughs> I forget. I forget what the name was for it, but these uh, big machines that drive down the road that had got this big pipe in the front there. I forget what they call them again. Oh, you talking about the tanks? Yes, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah, I worked on. Yeah, I worked on them too. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. I've only seen them in uh, in uh, air show. We used to have an air show up here in Canada in Winnipeg uh, years ago. Probably more than five years ago. We used to have at the beginning when I came to Canada. We uh, we had an air show up here, and I think I think it ran for about four years, and then they stopped doing it here in Winnipeg, but. Yeah, I've seen I seen them up here, them tanks and all kinds of fighter jets. We had the B twenty two up here and stuff like that. That's that is some real cool stuff, man. All kinds of heavy artillery, you know. <laughs> yeah, when I was well, also when I was in Germany too, I was also uh, I was uh, before they before they tore it down. I, I was actually I I uh, I was uh, I was with this one unit that we actually patrolled. Uh, the Berlin Wall. Oh, really? Yeah. This this was back way this before they tore it down. Yeah, yeah. I forget what year it was when they tore it down, but I know it's been quite a few years now, eh? Yeah, yeah. This was back in. Uh, I was over there. Uh, uh, 1981 to. I was there 1981 to 1984. Oh wow, <laughs> that was just when my daddy was popping <laughs> me up, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was I was born in '82, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a young guy, man. Uh, you're, let's see, 82, you're what, 33? Yeah, going to turn 33 here, uh, in May. Ah. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, when I first uh, when I first met Jukebox, I always thought he was older than me. It turns out that he's younger than me. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's all gray already and everything, so yeah, he looks... Sometimes it's a little bit deceiving, right? I mean, he, he has all his white hair and all that, but he really isn't that old, you know? 
No, well, I, I, I actually started driving when I was in the service. I, I drove I, I drove trucks when I was in the service. No, okay. No, okay. How many yeah. years? How many what? years have you uh, driven truck? Uh, when I got out, I uh, when I got out of the service, I drove. Uh, I worked for uh, when I first got out. I, I worked for uh, for uh, uh, Kenworth uh, up in Chicago. I, I, I worked for Chicago Kenworth working on their trucks, and uh, I left there and went to another company. And uh, I was a, a reefer mechanic. I, I worked on the reefer trailers. Oh, okay. And then uh, they uh, they were looking for drivers, so. I left a garage and then I started driving. Uh, I drove for them for uh, about eight, eight and a half years, and then uh, then they went bankrupt and went out of business. So when I left that company, uh, I changed careers and and I, I went ahead and let my CDL license go. I just recently got them back a few years ago. Okay. I had a big gap in there about. I had about 18 or a 20 year gap in between driving. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what did you do in between then? You were doing more local stuff or what? No, I was mainly, uh, I mostly did like factory work. Uh, I did a lot of construction work and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I, did a lot of, I did a lot of like framing, framing houses. Uh, okay. Uh, I did a lot of concrete work, you know, uh, I was with a company that they did all the, like in the residential areas, we go in and put in all the sidewalks and everything. Oh, nice, yeah, I have uh, I have a uh, friend here in Winnipeg that does uh, basements, he, he works with concrete all the time too, you know, like he he builds basements and stuff like that, and then another friend uh, in Winnipeg that I got, he does... Uh, uh, windows and doors like la uh, not last year the year before we were renovating our house and and he actually came and installed all our doors that we got replaced you know oh. yeah and I mean I I used to do carpentering work myself I when I first came to Canada I had uh, about seven years that I worked for a company called Low and Windows and uh, we were making windows and doors mostly for the United States but you know, I mean, everybody could buy them, but I mean, I, I do enjoy that kind of work myself, you know. So, so you have a, you, you've been, uh, what was that you said? You've been, you've been trucking what, seven years, eight years? It's, uh, it's about six and a half years. Oh, okay. Six and a half years, yeah. Yeah. You want to do that till you retire? Or? <laughs> well, I don't know if I'll do that till I'm retired. I honestly don't know yet. I, I, I am sometimes thinking about maybe doing a local job, but then other times I'm thinking of maybe I'll just continue doing long distance, but I'll just maybe, since now my truck is paid for, maybe I'll just... Uh, you know, when I come home, just whatever, take a few extra days off or or just try and schedule it more to where I'm going to be uh, home on the weekends more, you know, especially in summertime. Because oh, okay. I do, I really do enjoy going to the water and like to the lakes and stuff like that up here. I really enjoy fishing and stuff. So a couple of, two, both of those friends that I just told you about that do the construction work there, they both have a, a, a campers and they both purchased a, a seasonal uh, camp up there in the lake so we, uh, we're going to see some some water I think this summer <laughs> on some of my videos you know yeah that was one of the reasons why I got away from it uh, well because when I when I back when I first started driving I was married and my kids were little I was uh, away from home all the time so that was one of the reasons why I got away from it mm. so I now I'm at that. Now I'm not married anymore. All my kids are grown. They got their own family, so it's just me. So that's why I decided to get back into trucking. No, okay, no, all right. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the interview. I certainly did. He's a friend of mine. They're from the states, and uh, hey, 
if you like the uh, liked his uh, you know his talking and, and and his interview or like like the interview I did on him and stuff like that, be sure to check him out. I I watch him on a regular basis, and uh, that's gonna do it for today. I think. So we'll see if we got something or if we're gonna make a video for tomorrow, and uh, if we do, then you will see one tomorrow again. If not, I think next week I should be back on a regular schedule. But anyways, we'll be back.